Dr. Jim here, today we're talking about the deadlift. So this is the number one exercise that causes people to walk in the clinic, Jimmy, my back. And there's two technical reasons why. One, the bar gets to in front of them. So now rather than being nice and tight, having strong leverages, the bar is out in front and now we got to try to work to bring it back in. So that's gonna put a lot of strain on our back, shear at the disc, all that stuff is not good. The second is everyone wants to get a running start. They think they can break the ground as fast as they can. It's gonna help the lockout. Actually, more or less the opposite. You wanna be able to be set tight, struggle off the ground so you're in good position to drive the hips through. So when it looks bad, it's out in front of us, getting a running start here, they hit a wall, and then it's a grind to try to pull it through and get into that position. So one, bar is tight to the shins, we're gonna drag it up our legs the entire way. Same thing on the way down. Second piece, we wanna get this wedge. So we wanna drop the hips, but keep the chest high, rather than here and pull. So we put it all together, shins are tight, drop the hips, pull the chest, so that bar is already coming off the ground before I've even actually started the lift. So we call this a wedge, be it a cantilever, whatever you want to think of it. Drop the hips, raise the chest, boom, drag, 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 squeeze the ass, stay tall, reverse it on the way down. Back stays healthy, hips and hammies are doing the work, squeeze that ass at the top, tighten the core.